Pokemon. For the furtive sound of his photo aesthetic exegesis. For his secret technology, his liquid technology, the sepi, pure energy, seducing the air, lancing the plane of sight. And if vision is righteous and holy and pure, then Baba Kemal was the sonic sage, the one who never kept silent. The one who never wear necktie yet. The one who never wept in pews, who wove beads of triplet notes with a trumpet in a stroke. The infinite muse, a bad and contagious poet. Perceptible only in a glance. Emerging, dressed in black, much blacker than black, surrealist conflict. And I've been a black surrealist. Ever since I saw my grandfather chuck the wheel of his Austin Cambridge with a rock so he don't roll down hell and simple into the sea because iron don't float. Since I ran between vine and root, leapt over the wire where the land rushed wild to the sea, picked the fruit still warm from the vine, I hid in the trees. So much hairy snake and pick a bush was tying up the land. But strong poems still found me between the leaves. Between the